Here's the Harbor Freight website with the Sentec automatic battery float charger and apparently the normal price is five dollars. Uh, well, uh, I thought I was doing great with a five dollar coupon. Here we, we've got the unit hooked up to a, a small battery right now for demonstration. You can see when it's plugged in it has a red LED and even when you unplug it, it still has a red LED if it's hooked up to a battery. Uh, a wall wart that goes into the wall. Here's a close-up of the wall wart. And uh, two fairly strong looking uh, clips. I like the looks of the clips. Comes in uh, with some instructions that don't really say anything. I measured the cord. This uh, small cord is about six feet long. And then we've got uh, about 18 inches here, and I think this thing maybe stretch out to two feet if you really want to stretch it out. I hooked up a voltmeter to it here, and we can see that it's uh, got about 12.95 uh, volts, so it's giving a, a small amount of current. Uh, I measured a current meter, and uh, this small battery really wasn't taking much of a charge. Here's the battery charger in action. I've got the charger plugged in, and it's going through a current meter. And when I first, this is a fully charged battery right now. When I first put it on, it said uh, 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 0.55 amps, and now we're down to about, you know, 470 milliamps. It seems to be going lower and lower and lower. So it's only been on here for about a minute or so. And I'm going to see uh, how this thing goes over time to make sure that the modern electronics in here do the job to limit the current to not overcharge battery for uh, long-term charging applications. Well, it's been 10 minutes and the current's dropped down to about 217 milliamps. It's been a half an hour and we're down to 124 milliamps, but it is still creeping down a little bit. But uh, all in all, I'm, I'm very pleased with the behavior of this. It looks like it's gonna be a good solution for a long-term trickle charge.